welcome welcome my friends welcome once again to my youtube channel and i thank you for spreading my video and liking it people who are joined new to my video i request to subscribe my channel and spread it among yours today's topic is on hvac and we are going to look at four c's of hvac very very interesting let's move ahead out of the four c's the first c is comfort and when i talk about comfort thermal comfort so today in india it's heat wave everywhere and there are certain places also pouring the rains and the snow falls that is also happening when i look at the thermal comfort for human human beings it has certain temperature and it has certain rh relative humidity so generally 24 degree centigrade plus minus 1 and around 60 rh is the comfort level which is described by ashray so first important aspect of hvac to give thermal comfort and that thermal comfort is particular temperature and a specific rh within that temperature the survey says or ashray says the human being is comfortable the next one is about indoor air quality we can we can condition the air we can cool the air based on the requirement but the air which is coming in air which is getting circulated within the air conditioning system needs to be pure and that's the another important aspect of comfort the air quality which we breathe has to be of right and it has its own parameters to to describe that but this is the second aspect about comfort and with this i can just relate to a sick building syndrome now this you must have heard but if if the people who are working in a particular office or particular processes or particular facility if they are not able to have a proper air quality proper indoor air quality there are there are a lot of sick leaves applied by the team people who are working there um, and the building itself is a kind of place where people get sick and that is called sick building syndrome you lose a lot of productivity at workplace and that is very very dangerous for any company because if you lose people if you have um, many leaves because of uh, the sickness for the people who are working for you it will have huge impact on your productivity and then your top line or bottom line for an organization so this is the comfort part technology is at play now and there are various technology who can monitor it who can control the temperature who can control the rh who can control the indoor air quality give you signals about if anything is going wrong then you can take actions so these technologies the smart technologies are at play to make sure that you are comfortable so this is the first c the second c is all about control and communications so second and third that means control and communications to get an optimum comfort level because you don't want to cool too much we don't want to make the environment or the conditions on hotter side it has to be optimum so how do we get optimum comfort and optimum efficiency because finally in hvac is the energy guzzler so if comfort is there yes it is required but it also has to have an efficiency the energy consumption has to be lower so for that control is required so that it meets the requirement of the condition area it meets the requirement of that particular space but it also works at highest efficiency now to do that you must be knowing in hvac there are various components and and these components have to work together if they don't work together then you will have no optimum comfort you will have waste of energy so it is very important that we must it it must be integrated all the equipments must be integrated and for that they have to communicate to each other so integration communication goes again hand in hand where people where all the systems are integrated all the components of hvac systems are integrated and when they are integrated when when they get integrated when they start to talk each other so everyone is in same page and then you can get the optimum comfort at better efficiency so these are two important c's now last c is all about cost and when you talk about cost there are two types of cost one is the initial cost that is called capex the capital expenditure to have hvac system installed the money money which is required to get hvac system installed 
Second is the operation cost, that is the OPEX. What is the cost which is required to operate? And that's where the life cycle cost comes into picture. And if the life cycle cost is okay, then you may go for a little higher expenditure for CapEx, but you can get that benefit in OPEX. So everything has to be balanced when you, syst when you select this HVC system. Now, there are various ways of looking up cost per ton is one uh, important parameter, cost per square feet for HVC system, another important parameter. But we must look at the life cycle cost and take a holistic approach when we select the HVC system. So there are four C's which are important for HVC system. I thought I'll bring it to you. Thank you very much for your patient listening. Please subscribe my channel. Follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook and ajaskazi.com. Thank you very much.